stop. Broadside. On this next clip, our fantastic cameraman, Jarge, forgot to turn on the mic. So we've decided to put in some audio to make the experience a little bit more fitting. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> We're back again. Yeah, so last stand, we uh, called in a coyote. It winded us and couldn't get the job done. It was a little far farther out there than what we really wanted. So I figured it was time to help Cam out and I was gonna break out the 22250. Broke that guy out and the stand sure we enough. called and we had a double come in. We had, the first one came in, it was probably about 70 yards. Shot. Mm. He headed down the draw. Luckily, he came back up, and uh, Jared was able to make a good shot on him. Yeah, and right after that, we kept calling. It was early in the stand, probably only two minutes. So we kept calling, and sure enough, Josh is in the distance going, Jared, Jared, another coyote. Look, get on it. All I can see is its head. And I ask him if he's on it, he's on it. So I squeeze that trigger, and sure enough, he goes tail in the air. <laughs> It was a good one. So yeah, double down, middle of the day. We're still calling them in, so we're gonna keep going. We're going off of two hours of sleep from last night's hunt, and we're just gonna shred. Shotgun working out. <laughs> How many shotgun dogs do we have now? <clears throat> three? We have at least three. Um, yeah, shotgun's working good. We put that choke tube in it. Carlson's uh, coyote choke tube. Shooting off number four buck. Seems to be doing the job. And this, it was, <laughs> felt pretty good on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, overall, you know, we're, we're still trucking along, trying to meet our goal. Sage Reapers were now up to nine dogs, looking to meet their goal of ten dogs. They woke up and headed out to the morning stand. After finally getting out to the stand, we realized that Jared forgot the call in the truck. 
so he puckered his lips up and got ready to call with just his mouth. Morning. Jared, you just called in a coyote with your mouth. I know. How's what happens it? when you forget you're calling the truck. So, you forgot you're calling your truck, and what'd you do? I got the whole, the whole just mouth to hand trick, I guess. Show me. You don't have anything in your hand right there? Nothing in my hands. And you're just calling. It's gone. Big troping in, just doing some <laughs> mouth calling. <laughs> last morning, last stand, we we got our goal done. Number ten. In this stand, we uh, we came out, we walked quite a ways from the truck, probably, I don't know, I think close to half a mile. We sat down, got ready to call, and I realized I didn't have my mouth call on me or any other call. So rather than just walking back to the truck, I decided to try to just call with my mouth. So Cam and I start chatting it up, and uh, Josh goes, hey, there's two coyotes out there. Sure enough, two coyotes. We watched them for a minute, called at them some more. Finally, one kind of committed, started coming in. He was coming right downwind. Um, I'd say he's about 300 yards once he got to where our wind was. So I did, decided to take the shot, and luckily the trusty old 22-250 put her there. So, great shot, man. <laughs> Dog number 10. And I think that's it. We're going to go pack up camp and head home. Pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. <laughs> yeah. So. See you next time. No. Hey, can we get a little uh, demonstration again of your beautiful mouth calling? Just here a little bit. <laughs> Well, you hear, heard it here first, folks. Jared Davis doesn't need any calls. Jared Davis is a call. Watch out. <laughs>